Firescape Academy inspector training video. We're here in uh, Los Angeles and we're here on Broadway. I believe this is 342. And let's take a look at this fire escape here. We're actually going to look at two fire escapes here. And that one across the way. Let's start with this one. Uh, fire escapes. Looking at it, if I was a structural engineer and I was inspecting a fire escape, two requirements. Must be structurally sound and must be kept painted in preparation for a load test. In lieu of a load test, I can certify the fire escape if I can eliminate some of the unknowns on this fire escape, which would be only verified through a load test. So the, load, the uh, verification process is verify a connection, reinforce a connection, duplicate a connection, or nullify a connection in order for me to forego a load test. So let's take a look at this particular fire escape and let's see if it has more paint than rust or more rust than paint. And on this particular fire escape, believe it or not, it's a 50-50. It's got a lot of paint on it, but it's got a lot of rust on it, but it's 50-50. So some spot painting would make this fire escape pass inspection uh, if it was a paint issue of any kind. The next thing I'm looking for is structural issues. Any defects. Immediately, let's take a look at this ladder. It's leaking. Traditionally, these ladders um, that have uh, these, this, um, this is an indicator that it's been leaking over time. We got all grease on the entire ladder from years and years of leakage. We got a cable of some sort up there that basically used to be part of the weight system, uh, which, is no, which is no longer functional. We got a cable up there, which is uh, probably to bring it back up, which is broken. It's not uh, functional. There's no release arm. There is a release arm right there. Um, but the release arm itself looks like it's, it's, got a, a, it's got a bend in it that I can see there. So right now we got a non-functioning ladder uh, with no restraint of any kind to keep it from because uh, these things are a lot of times irreparable. Um, in the business, I don't know of anybody that can fix a hydraulic ladder that is 50 to 75 years old and there's no one building new ones because they're just so difficult because the hydraulic was the only way that it would slow it to, so that it drops smoothly or on average two to three feet per second. Right now with no hydraulic in the system, this thing drops down like a guillotine and this is a business right here. And there's people walking up and down this alleyway. Should this thing f let go for any reason, that thing is a guillotine, it will hurt or kill somebody coming down. So it needs to be modified and converted over to a weighted system so that when you release it, it no longer relies upon the, the hydraulics to slow it down. Number two, we're looking at original hardware. This is a fire escape that's 50 to 75 years old. So I'm looking for evidence of maintenance in the past 50 years that would include bolt changes. So if you have rivets and square heads, I'm looking for this fire escape, which is 50 to 75 years, including the gooseneck going up, up and over on the very top. I'm looking for evidence of maintenance, and that's some new hex head bolts anywhere on this fire escape. And so that would tell me that the, there's been some maintenance. As I look on this entire fire escape, platforms and uh, and again, all this from the ground, what, what the visual eye can see, I see no evidence of maintenance on the treads, no evidence of maintenance in all the rails, I see no evidence. So the, at best, this fire escape has seen a paint job in the past 50, 75 years, but never has it seen any maintenance of any kind. So a lot of these connections now are suspect. As I start looking up on the treads, just on the lower fire escape, I can see the riveted treads. I got evidence of rust growth inside those connections meaning that now we need to have some engineer oversight to see whether or not those fire escape treads are going to get load tested or they're going to get refurbished. As I look into the platform, I see rust in the corners here and rust uh, going back into the building. So there's some structural issues on this fire escape. I'm also, I got cracked cement. If you look here, I've got evidence of cracked cement, meaning that water's getting in there. So that now needs to be verified or duplicated or it needs to be uh, nullified with another connection so that we can leave that one alone if that's the case. Now when I look straight up at this fire escape a lot of times what is happening on the first floor just repeats itself on all the other floors. So I don't necessarily need uh, binoculars, I don't need uh, to basically see beyond because whatever they've done on the first floor is usually evident of what they have or have not done on the upper floor. So 
This fire escape is showing no evidence of maintenance anywhere on this particular fire escape other than the paint job on a 50 to 75 year life. So it's impossible for on a 50 to 75 year old fire escape not to have some evidence of maintenance. And usually in 25 to 50 years they've changed out or reinforced all the rivets on the, on the, support, on the staircase. Usually the support structure on the platform has been done. Usually the corner rail posts have been done and usually the stringer clips at the top and, cl and stringer clips at the bottom have re been redone. And a lot of times it's very important to make sure that the gooseneck, which is mainly made for the firemen, it's showing nothing but a square head bolts up there. And those need to be verified and confirmed. Now, this is one fire escape. Let's go very quickly across the way to another fire escape here. And let's see if the same, uh, same information applies here. Now, right away, let's start with cement on this particular one. And what you can see, see the rusty tears coming down there? That rusty tears is an indicator that water's getting in there. I'm looking for evidence of maintenance. I see none. On this fire escape, there's no evidence of any maintenance on any of these fire escapes because um, it's all original square head bolts. I got bulging in the corner. So this fire escape is not ready for a load test. It needs a full paint job. Let's take a look at the weight box. By the way, it's got a canopy here and there's no tear out. So right now, should that ladder come down, it's not gonna be able to come through. And we're right here at 345 Broadway so that ladder system, look at the release mechanism. I believe the release mechanism is, is in an open position and that thing is not coming down. You got a chain there that's not, so somebody can just fall into the, uh, into the piece, but they can't come down. And right now, as you can see, there's no blowout. There's actually you know, structural uh, bars and stuff from keeping that ladder from coming down. So we have a violation here. Now, let's take a look at that weight box. That weight box is rusting. The cable is old. You can see the original cable still on it. The wheels need to be greased. Um, on this, you also have a standpipe issue. And a lot of times these standpipes are tied back to the fire escape. Um, you've got the ladder that's got pinwheels up there that looks like they haven't been greased. And this fire escape here probably hasn't seen a, a certified test uh, because again, it would not pass because it has this obstruction right here. So. This is typical of a lot of fire escapes is that you get to see original hardware. As soon as you look up on any fire escape, it must be structurally sound, must be kept painted, but original hardware is the first sign that nothing has been done to this fire escape in 50 to 75 years, and that is just impossible to be in the weather that long and not have some evidence of maintenance. And this fire escape here has no evidence of any maintenance, such as some hex head bolts here and there. And that fire escape has no evidence of maintenance, which is hex bolts here and there. Again, any questions, this is Firescape Academy Inspector Training, 800-649-3333. This is Los Angeles. We're on Broadway.